they did an ECG workshop and actually had to do a heart tracing. That, and we were initially going to make that into a book, sort of like one of those flip books. Um, but in fact, actually, it's been incorporated into the visuals which, which the dancers dance along to. tried to do from the start was to take specific areas that perhaps the other collaborators in the project were looking at and to see how we could um, develop some sort of music that would accompany uh, those ideas. Uh, one example is the idea of signalling. I realised signalling was very important and uh, I tried a few ideas and one thing I landed on was the idea of Morse code and I took the phrase one blood and made it in Morse code and created a whole section of music just for that. I decided that I would try and record some body sounds and use those in my composition. Um, we had a couple of sessions where I brought in a recorder and um, inspired the children to make various sounds, rubbing of hands, clapping, slapping and uh, various other sorts of sounds. Say that, say that, one more, one more. Excellent, thank you. Being in the different sessions, science, art, music, um, and, and the graphics, it's, it's clear that Cross subject project like this, which is looking at a scientific idea, the journey of blood, what's happening in your body, it works really well because it, it, it just gives both students and the creative team ideas for how you can approach those kind of subjects, those kind of ideas, not necessarily in the way that you might work before. It's really difficult to find those cross-curricular things to find that, you know, how do you get science involved, how do you get English involved. And we're starting to do that more and more regularly. This is probably the first, I mean, science have had small things over the years, but this is the first large-scale project that they've been involved in. Um, and from what they'd say to me back at school, um, I think they're, you know, they're, they're very happy about what they've done. They're keen to do, to find more things to do in the future. So it's had a really good impact and hopefully um, finding those more creative ways of teaching is just going to help to enhance them, their, their department, their delivery and ultimately the, the learning experience of the kids. So what we were trying to do as much as possible throughout the project was, was get ideas feeding across so that the science ideas were going into the dance sessions and what the artists were doing were being seen by the scientists and the dancers and the people making the, the sound and music so that all these ideas would, would be influencing each other rather than that we were following a, a script in order to make the performance. I think one thing that was very important about this project was working with students who, um, well, they'd had very little experience of dance or performing. So for them to, it wasn't just a small step, it was a huge leap for them.
I was really intrigued by what um, students came up with in terms of the dance, actually, because the sort of way that they were acting out the life story of a blood cell, and I thought that was actually they got it they got it pretty pretty much right as far as I could see. We know that, for example, the science students have got a lot of out, out of it. Their understanding of you know the respiratory system, the circulatory systems, are, are much much better than they would be through teaching them you know, just in a normal you know a normal science in, in a normal science lesson. I thought it was a little rubbish first, but it turned out really good. Really good. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't thought it was this good. <laughs> Who knows, out of this project, uh, whether we'll have a molecular biologist or a hematologist. I learned a lot of things about what happened in our body, so fantastic. And upset that, that we ain't going to do it no more, so. Yeah, we ain't going to do it anymore. And we, we want to do it again. Like, we want Michael and them to come again, and we want to have fun. And we get so much fun.